guys, um, it's me. Um, I'm just actually gonna do a tutorial today. Um, so you know those how this is. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to do a special false cut, and I'm also going to show you how you know how you do this with the cards. And some of you guys, I've um, haven't had any comments on this, but a lot of my friends say. You know how some people shuffle the cards like that and then they put them inside each other and they feel bad because they can't do the bridge? Well, they can. Here's how. So you shuffle the corners just like that into each other. Then you push the cards into each other. So you create this. Then you just bend the cards and let go. There. You just did a bridge with the ordinary tyranny shuffle. You just take the corners, shuffle them into each other, see, put them inside, the cards inside each other, bend it, and let it go. Now, um, if you're not impressed and you need um, to learn false cuts, um, and if you don't mind, I'm going to deal the cards out in um, red and black, if you don't mind. This may take a little while, guys. I'm so sorry. I wasn't prepared for this. Anyways. So that's how you do the bridge. Now here's how you do a one of the easy false cuts. It does involve breaks, so if you're not so good at um, using pinky breaks or tyranny breaks or classic breaks, whatever you whatever you want break to be. It's, this is probably not going to be the best trick ever. Anyway, so look. Here's what I've done. I've taken all the red cards, put them at the top. Sorry, you see everything backwards. I try to fix that. And I have all my blacks on the bottom. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what the false cut looks like. Cut. Now, if I did this right, I didn't do the false cut. So, this takes a lot of practice, if you will. This takes a lot. Let me try it again. Um, if you're if you're a beginner, I highly recommend you not using this false cut. Um, but there is um, there. I think I just did the false cut correctly. Look, see, we still have all the black at the bottom and all the red at the top. Now, here's how you do it. You're going to take your index finger. If you're a lefty, you would hold the deck like this and take off using your index finger. You'd slide the cards over, grab them with your other hand. Now, you're going to do another thing. You're going to slide them over, hold a break right in between these two piles and you're just going to add this to the bottom now instead of doing it a third time you drop the rest of the the cards that aren't in your hand and put the rest of the cards on top and you'll have these still cards like this the whole way through okay now that's the trick um well the tutorial really i'm also going to show you a really cool false shuffle too this is probably the easiest to take Couple cards off the top, couple cards off the bottom, couple cards off the top, couple cards off the bottom, couple cards off the top, couple off the bottom, and just put the rest on top of it. Now, this is what Miss Maggie Two Two Carl's calls um the. See, the cards are almost in the same order. Anyways, um, look up Miss Mag 822, the clumsy false shuffle. He can show you this in a little more high depth. You can also look up his tyranny false cut. If you have not subscribed to Miss Mag 822's card, um, the card trick teacher, um, you should really do that. Um, I'm going to put his link in the description below. And Actually, no, I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not prepared to do that. Anyways, okay. Um, you can use the false cuts and the 
bridge to really help you with these card tricks. That's it. See you next